I'm Jim Bax from the Dakota County Attorney. For 33 years, Dakota County has had a dedicated chief prosecutor. The voters of Dakota County will not find anyone who works harder or is more dedicated to this job than I am. Who also had a huge impact on Minnesota's criminal laws passed at the state capitol. Crimes against children, you know, the vulnerable, the, the, the those who can't defend themselves in any way, that has always bothered me and uh, torn me apart when I've seen those crimes occur. Jim Backstrom helped convince legislators to pass stronger laws for sex offenses by people in positions of power, stiffer penalties for drivers in deadly hit and run crashes, and he played a key role in lessening penalties for minor drug offenses to draw focus on large-scale dealers. In the courtroom, perhaps Jim Backstrom's most well-known case was actually one he lost, but that led to change. You know, I will be haunted till the day I die uh, about the Corinne Erstad uh, case. Despite having DNA evidence linking the defendant to the 1992 disappearance and presumed death of five-year-old Corinne Erstad, the jury found him not guilty. After that verdict, the law changed to let prosecutors better explain the significance of DNA evidence to juries. And that's been really vital to obtaining justice in, in so many cases since 1993. Backstrom got justice for little Dylan Blocker, a three-year-old neglected by his mother and murdered by her boyfriend. This is the reason why I did my job for 33 years. And Backstrom always kept photos of Dylan and Corinne in his office. Those in his community know Backstrom's focus on educating children in crime prevention. And those who really know him... ...have seen his unexpected flamboyant side. Some things are meant to be. An Elvis impersonator. His favorite, performing at nursing homes for memory patients. After 33 years, Backstrom is retiring. When I made this announcement, it was a real emotional day for me. Leaving a legacy that extends far beyond his county. No, we don't judge ourselves by wins or losses. We judge ourselves by seeking justice uh, with integrity and uh, with impartiality and fairness. And I've tried to do that every day of my career. Lou Raguse, Carol Evan News. The interesting detail there. Backstrom was planning on retiring at the end of his term, but some chronic health issues made him decide to leave early. He expects his last big case to be the review of the Minneapolis police shooting of Dalal Id when the BCA completes its investigation.